as a fan like your team is being taken care of it doesn't you know what i mean if chase lucas gets cut god bless him i believe that these guys believe that chase yeah. lucas wasn't good enough to make this 53 right now if dill drummond gets kit, cut i believe god bless him but i believe that dan and brad feel like he's not good enough to be on the 53 right now they have a plan they're executing that plan and i feel good about it regardless of which names that they tell me are are on this roster or not yeah you know it reminds me a lot of what's going going on down the street at little caesar's arena with with steve eiserman as their gm I don't know as much about hockey as as the other three major sports. Yeah, you but and everybody when I follow, else, <laughs> right? But, but when yeah. I follow the Wings and I hear about some of the moves they've made this off season, the acquisition of DeBrinket, without knowing much around the NHL, I feel good about what Steve Eiserman's doing. I feel very similar to what Brad Holmes in that front office is doing, where whatever move they're making, it. It, it's not only for a reason, it's in the best interest of the Lions. And they have that about $19 million war chest sitting there. When's he going to use it? Where, when is he saving? Yeah. What is he saving that money for? Um, could it be something soon? Or is he waiting for a trade deadline? Or is he storing it for a rainy day in, in some other scenario? So you're right. I, I do feel that way. And I feel it, it feels good that not only are good players getting cut, but other teams want the Lions players, which means... They're being seen from other coaches too.